So I've just spotted this article in Bustle. Five healthy foods that can actually be bad for your health, according to nutrition experts. First up is veggie crisps. As it says here, nutritionist Jenna Hope notes that really good crisps, which are essentially dried vegetables, do exist. But she adds, there are plenty on the market now which are heavily processed corn chips with a few percent vegetable extract. According to Hope, the highly processed nature of these products means that a lot of the fibre can be removed. Salt content can also be high, potentially leading to an increase in your desire for more food. I must admit, when I've seen these vegetable crisps, I've thought to myself, oh, they look like they might be healthy. But then I've sometimes thought, well, just how healthy are they? I mean, if they've been processed and had things added like salt and other flavourings, then are they really much healthier than just having potato crisps? I don't know. Number two is gluten-free and vegan foods. Now, I kind of know what they mean by this, because gluten-free kind of has an air of healthiness about it, because you think that people who are health conscious might be going gluten-free because they care about their health. And similarly, with vegan foods, you think that people might be going vegan for health reasons, or even if they're going vegan for ethical reasons, that still has positive connotations to it. But the problem is, like with vegan foods, it's quite likely that a person might not get enough protein or they might be deficient in vitamin B12. And with gluten-free items like gluten-free bread or gluten-free cakes and biscuits, just because they're gluten-free doesn't mean they're healthy because they could be full of all kinds of unhealthy ingredients and processed quite a lot. Number three is juice and smoothies. I used to drink a lot of smoothies and juices several years ago. I was really into the whole juicing thing. And what I used to do is I would use a juice extractor to get a load of juice out of things like carrots, apples and various vegetables like spinach and things like that. And then I'd put that juice into a blender, add some blueberries, maybe some soy yoghurt, some spirulina, um, maybe some seeds various things like that to add some protein and good fats and fibre, which was good, but in hindsight I realise now that those smoothies would have contained quite a lot of sugar from the fruits. And that's the problem really with smoothies and juices. You're getting more of a rapid hit of sugar than you would do if you just simply ate a piece of fruit, for example. It's much quicker and easier to drink a glass of juice or smoothie and get loads and loads of fruit than it is to eat that much fruit. Number four on the list is cereal and protein bars. Yes, a lot of cereal bars look like they're going to be healthy because often they have the name of like all natural or eat natural or granola and people will look at that and think, oh, that contains oats and nuts and cereals and so it's going to be healthy. But those bars are almost always put together with lots and lots of sugar. There'll be a lot of syrup in there to bind it together. And with protein bars, people, especially people into sport who want to up their protein intake, will think that a protein bar is a good thing because, well, protein is good, therefore a protein bar must be good. But often these protein bars contain lots of other ingredients, including sugar. Just simply the fact that it's got protein in it doesn't make it healthy. You have to look at what the other ingredients are as well. And if you think that having a sugar-free protein bar makes it a lot healthier... Well, think again, because that will probably mean that they've got artificial sweeteners in them. And as it says here, artificial sweeteners may stimulate appetite and alter gut bacteria, which is not a good thing. But more research is needed in this area. And number five is ginger shots. Well, ginger shots that you make yourself at home might be fine. When you buy ginger shots in the shops, they are likely going to have quite a lot of sugar. You see, again, it comes down to sugar. So many products that you buy in the shops contain sugar, even if they're marketed as healthy. So whenever you're buying anything, even if it's marketed as a healthy product, always check the label and see how much sugar it's got in it. And if the product you're eating or drinking tastes quite sweet, it's either got sugar in it or it's got sweeteners in it. It's going to be one of the two. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful or informative. If so, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, click subscribe too. Until next time, I wish you the very best of health.